Welcome to Derivatives Lesson 1, Slopes and Tangents, where we do the intuitive thing to try to find slopes. That'll be a lot of plugging and chugging. So, let's get right at it. Your mission today is to try to find the slope of an equation of the tangent line at 3, 9 for the function y equals f of x, which equals negative x squared plus 8x minus 6. I think the first thing that I would like you to do is to graph that quadratic function. So I'll give you a couple of seconds to do that. Go ahead and pause. And there's a graph of the parabola. Now I'd like you to try to guess as to where that tangent line should be drawn at line at the point 3, 9. I'll give you a chance to do that and then I will do it as well. Go ahead and pause and go for it. And what we would like to do is try to find the equation of that tangent line because that is kind of like the derivative of what we're finding. That's where we're headed is to find the slope of that line. So what we need to do is kind of do that limit thing again. All right, We want to approach uh, the x value of 3 because we want to get as close to that uh, point on the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick different values for x that continually get closer from the left and the right and then uh, see if we can find a slope. All right, I'll show you what values to put in. All right, Now with these points here I would actually like you to put in 2.9, 2.99, 2.999, into this function up here to find your f of x of the function. So go ahead and put those values in and I'll be right back. Alright, those are your f of x values for those x values. Now what I would like you to do is I would like you to compute delta x and delta y. How much did these values in this part of the table right here change from 3, 9? Alright, I'll give you a couple of seconds to do that and then we should be able to find some slope. Go ahead and pause find delta x and delta y. How much of each of these values changed from 3, 9? Alright, those are the delta x um, values and delta y values. Now go ahead and do where are we? Down here. Delta y over delta x to find the slope at each one of those x values. Go ahead and pause, and uh, we'll compare uh, notes. Aren't you glad on your uh, actual sheet I gave you more room than what I have? Pause. By looking at the table, I, can, I think that we can tell as x approaches 3 from either direction, the slope keeps on getting closer and closer to 2. So intuitively right now, we're just going to say that the slope at 3 is going to be 2. Now we'll go ahead and find an equation of the tangent line that has a slope of 2 going through the point 3, 9. And there you have it folks. The equation of the line y minus 9 equals 2 times the expression x minus 3. I'm not so worried about you putting that in uh, slope-intercept form, so just go ahead and leave your answer just like that. All right, we'll go ahead and try one more function. We're going to graph that cubic function x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. So go ahead and find the zeros, maybe the y-intercepts and the x-intercepts to help you. Oh yeah, that's the same thing, isn't it? and then go ahead and graph that function and uh, be right back with you. Go ahead and pause. 
All right, there's the function graph to the best of my ability with my slate. Now I would like you to put in functions, values of x that are approaching 2, both from the left and from the right. So what values are you going to put in? And then go ahead and find the f of x values as well. Go ahead and pause. And there are my x values as I approach true 2 from the left and the right. Go ahead. I dare you. Find delta x and delta y. And I'll be right back. All right, now let's go ahead and figure out those slopes. 1.42 negative 1.421 divided by 0 0.1 14.21 divided negative 0 0.1492 divided by negative 0 0.01 14.92 and 0 0.015 divided by 0 0.001 negative both 15.00 and this looks like it's going to be 15.81 15.08 15.01 okay what does the slope look like it's approaching the closer and closer we get to 2 from the left or the right it sure looks like the slope is going to be 15. So now the equation of that line that is tangent at 2, 0 looks like it's going to be y minus 0 equals 15 times x minus 2. All right, I'll go ahead and draw that tangent line in right now. And there's my best attempt at the uh, tangent line there. And uh, on your homework, you're just going to be uh, just kind of messing around with these tables here. Although, I don't even think you need to write the tables down. Just try to find a slope that goes through a point but you're gonna have to do that a little bit to try to figure out where that slope is headed all right good luck see you tomorrow this concludes derivatives uh, lesson one slopes and tangents and intuitive rip approach